we want to look at arg L circuits now. So just like for the arg circuit rather, you can have arg L circuit to like this, uh, current flowing, and uh, this is source free for arg L. Now the expression for this is I L of T. Don't forget, T can be zero. That is when it is zero, it is inertia. And it can be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So it can be, depending on the time at which they want you to calculate the current that is actually in the inductor at that particular time, will be equal to the initial current in that particular inductor multiplied by exponential minus t over tau. So it's the same expression in different arrangements. The tau is the same, but in this case, it's not Rc, it's Lr. So, and the expression for tau here is L over R. So, when you have R S circuit, this is how we find our tau, the time constant. But the definition is the, is the same. The time it takes for the response to decay to approximately 37% of the initial value. So, we can also find the voltage drop in the resistor, Vr over a period of time, which is also expressed as uh, I naught multiplied by R. You know that I R is voltage, then exponential minus tau over minus T over tau. And the same thing, we can have the power that is dissipated in the resistor over a period of time, which is also expressed as uh, I R square, I square R, I Initial current square r exponential minus 2t over tau. You can actually get this, but it's how to use all this expression is what we are after in this course. You know, it's just fundamentals. It's not fund it's just uh, fundamentals for electrical engineering one. Okay. Why the energy store is expressed as half. L I not square. If you look at it critically, you we'll see that it has some resemblance with the RC circuit. So this, after a long period of time, we discover that after as T tends to infinity, we discover that the energy will be equals to half L I naught square. And this is also equal to the initial energy store in the inductor. That is this. This is as T tends to infinity. This is initial for the inductor itself. So having seen all this expression, we can therefore quickly solve some problems. So just like before, let me quickly give us the circuit of the problem we are going to be solving now. Uh, given so here is is two ohms. Why this is forty volts? Um, this is twelve ohms. And this is 16 ohms. This is 4 ohms. And this is 2 Henry. So you, we are asked to find the current I flowing uh, through that particular uh, inductor. So, um, what, okay, now the switch is like this. So showing that the switch was initially closed. So we want to find uh, I of T at T equals to 0 0.1 seconds. So we want to find the current flowing through this inductor at this time. This is the circuit we want to analyze. And they want us to find the current flowing through this inductor at 0 0.1 seconds. But meanwhile, we're not given the initial current in this particular inductor. No, for capacitor, 
we went to de uh, determine the initial voltage by ourselves. So we need to determine the initial current that is stored in this inductor. So how do we do that? We can see that there's a voltage supply to this circuit initially, like this. Before this switch was open, initially, that initially means that when t less than zero, that is before time begins to count, initially this thing was closed. So the circuit will look like this at that time. So we have our 40 volt here. We have our two ohms. We have four ohms. We have 12 ohms and 16 ohms. Now, initially, this is what our, the circuit is. For capacitive circuit, when a DC is supplied to a capacitor, the capacitor open. But for inductive circuit, when a DC both a supply across a, an inductor, the, the inductor becomes a short circuit. It's short. So simply put, you have it like this. So it simply means that when current begins to move from here, when it gets to this node, it will split, and that will come here. But when it gets to this node, because this node is shorted, current will not flow here. All the current will flow through this side. So meaning that we can even draw this circuit as this. This short circuit will shut out this 16. So we can have this circuit as 40 volts here, 2 ohms here, 12 ohms here, and 4 ohms here. So the current that flows here is our what? I. But since we are considering the port, the switch is being opened when it was closed initially. So any current we get here will be our initial current. So the current that is flowing here to this shorter side of the inductor will be our initial current for this inductor before we will be able to find the current flowing in that, uh, remaining in that inductor after uh, 0 0.1 seconds. So now let's quickly see from this circuit, how can we determine this current? So you know that what we need to do here is that we need to first of all determine the total current, I total flowing in this circuit. And to achieve that, we need to find the equivalent resistor in this circuit. From this circuit, you can see that 2 is in series with parallel combination of 12 and 4. So this is our R equivalent, the total resistance in this particular circuit. And that gives us 5 ohms. If this is the total resistance in this circuit, therefore, the total current in this circuit will become 4 vo 40 volts over 5 ohms, which gives us 8 amps. So that is total current. You can see that if the total current flowing now and it gets to this node, it will divide like this. If total current flowing is eight times, it means that the current that we move toward this side is our initial current. So to do this, we need to apply current divider's theorem. And that will be I naught, that is current flowing here, will be equal to the short, uh, the short side with respect to this particular resistor here, the resistor over the addition of the two resistors multiply by the total current, which is 8 amps. And when we do that, our I naught will be equals to 6 amps. This simply means that out of this total current, which is 8 amps, 6 is coming to this uh, inductive side, and the remaining, which is 2, will go to 12 ohm side. So that is at t equal to zero. I mean, less than zero. 
and also at t equals to zero, it will still be six because the uh, current cannot change instantaneously. So now for t greater than zero now, when t time begins to count, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 now, we can therefore now find uh, the i at a particular time of t using this expression, initial current exponential minus t over tau. Now, we know our initial current, which is uh, 6 ampere. We need to find our tau. So how do we find our tau from these uh, circuits? Our tau is the equivalent resistor in this circuit when the switch is open. So you can see that when the switch is open, the circuit will now look like this. We have this to be 16, we have this to be 4 ohms, 16 ohms, and we have this to be 12 ohms. You can see that just like we did for capa uh, capacitor, is the, the total equivalent resistance is the Thevenin resistance. Looking from this direction where we have our inductor now, you will see that 4 ohms and 12 ohms, they are in series, which is in parallel with 16. So we can therefore see that the R uh, equivalent is equal to 12 plus 4 multiplied by 16. Then everything over 12 plus 4 plus 16. So the R equivalence would therefore be equals to uh, 8 ohms. So having done that, we can now find our time constant to be equals to 8 multiplied by uh, um, L over uh, uh, L over R equivalent, which is what? Our L in the question is 2 over 8. This is what? 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25 seconds. So having gotten that, we can easily find our IL at that particular time given to us, which is 0 0.1. And that is very easy. Just permit me to write it here. Our I uh, at IL at uh, 0 0.1 will now be initial current, which is 6 amp, multiplied by exponential minus uh, T, which is 0 0.1 over tau, which is 0 0.25. So when you punch your calculator very well, you are going to get uh, 4.0219 ampere. So this simply means that after uh, 0 0.1 seconds, the current remaining in this particular inductor is 4.021. You can see that this time, 0 0.1, is smaller than time constant. And as a result, from 6 amp initial current, we have almost, I mean, 4 still remaining there because the time is still very, the time you are considering is short. But if you are to consider at t equals to 0 0.25, this i will have been reduced to 37% of the initial value. Thank you.